Hi guys, Jar6, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to talk about three things that you need in your tactical flashlight. Now, a lot of questions comes out of the, the through nine videos that I've been doing here in the channel. Some of you guys like them, some of you guys don't, but it is what it is. And again, a lot of question comes out of that. And one of the question is like, hey, what do I really need on my tactical flashlight? And I'm assuming when people say tactical, it means like the real deal. Maybe law enforcement guys, maybe combat operation, maybe responders, guys are looking for a flashlight that if you find yourself in a confrontation, that's what you're gonna carry. Again, I'm talking about the real deal. I'm not talking about the utility stuff. You know, I carry a T10 and I really like it because it's a, a good utility flashlight. I mean, I use it to get my keys coming up to my front door and things like that. But people out there are asking the question that, you know, what do I need in my tactical flashlight? And definitely you need things like dependability, uh, reliable, a light that is really strong, a light that you could drop in the floor and it's gonna work. You know, a lot of people talk about Surefires, I have to agree, excellent company and, and, and it works really well. Now lately, I've been using the T10, actually the TC10, I got a video, I'll link it down below, as my home defense light and I really like it and, I, and I'm gonna tell you why. Now, Definitely, you know, a lot of guys complain or a lot of guys debate about the whole mounted light versus handheld light. I think you need both. I have talked about it in the channel many times. You know, you could do this thing right here. If something fell, you could still use this one. And if you have to use one arm for whatever reason, pick up a child or anything like that, you still have a light right here. And I think that's a capability that you need to have. All right, guys, so let's get to the three things. And first of all, you need to have a light that you could use as a weapon. So again, this one is a little bit big. Like I said, I use it for home defense. Maybe you need something smaller than this. But this light, I could use it as a weapon. First of all, I got a, a pretty good uh, purchase of this light. I mean, it's not a little one. It, it's kind of big, so I could grab it, meaning that I could use it as a weapon. I could punch. I could strike. I could do many different things. The vessel, this one in particular, the vessel is not that aggressive, but there's some lights out there that have an aggressive uh, vessel which is great somebody comes out hit him right in the face and it's gonna work it may break but it's gonna cause some pain and that's what you want to do if you want to defend yourself from a threat you're gonna have to cause pain so again you need something that you could grab have a good purchase and you could use as a weapon as you come down clearing your house or something coming up a guy is gonna come out boom you could hit that guy and I think that's critical now guys the second thing I got to tell you that I think is extremely critical is the momentary switch now some of the flashlights don't have it some of the flashlight have a uh, switch that you have to click and on click I think that that works but you need to have a momentary switch and what it means is that you could slightly press and the light is gonna go on and again if you release the light is gonna go off so again why is that critical I, I think it's extremely critical because once you turn that light on, you're going to give away your position, especially for home defense. Turn the light on, you're going to give away your position. So you have to be in a situation where you can turn it on, turn it off extremely fast. And I think that momentary switch is, is critical when it comes to that. And again, you come out of your room, you're searching, you turn it on, you look, you turn it back off. Again, momentary, slightly press, or slightly uh, release. You're not going to have it quickly. You're not going to have anything. It's going to be very, very quick. And I think for tactical operations, you definitely need that. Now, guys, the last thing I'm going to tell you, you need a flashlight that pulls out a lot of lumens. That 100, 150, 200, 300 uh, lumens, when it comes to tactical operations, I don't think that's going to cut it. I think you need something that pulls out over at least over 500 lumens. I mean, this one, I want to say it pulls out about 750 lumens. If I'm wrong, I'll put on an annotation. But again, that's good because tactical operation, you don't know what you're gonna be. You, you, know, you don't know where you're gonna be at. You may be in a home defense situation where you have to like light up as much as you can. You may be in your backyard. You may be a first responder uh, trying to, to, to help a person in need. You may be a police officer running through a background or running through a backyard looking for a criminal. So you just don't know. So the fact that you have a flashlight that puts out a lot of lumens and you could control those lumens like this TC, 10, you could just click here and control the lumens, uh, different settings. I think that's critical. You definitely need that. Like I said, guys, this light right here, the TC10, is a good light for home defense. It's kind of big, but again, home defense, I'm not worried about that. I'm worrying about, uh, I mean, I just want something that's going to put a lot of lumens and it works. If you're trying to get a tactical flashlight, 
that you could EDC every single day, I would recommend you to get something smaller than this. But again, this like kind of, I, I think it kind of gives you a good idea uh, for you guys to get the point that I'm trying to make. So again, you definitely need a light that is going to be good enough to be used as a weapon like this one. You definitely need a momentary switch that so you can turn it on, turn it back off very, very quick. And you definitely need a lot of lumens. And those are my three guys. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. Add out some more comments because people are reading the comments and starting a conversation. And that's what everything is about to start a conversation and get more information and educate ourselves and try to become a better weapon. Remember, you are the weapon. This is a tool. You are the weapon. So let me know if you like this video. Click like, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and God is in control.